the beginning of a new era for African Americans in the U.S. Armed Forces. Just like everything else at the time period, the army was also segregated. However, during the Korean War, the army desegregated. This was because they were low on reinforcements and they were forced to call on blacks for extra forces. The officials realized that the blacks could fight just as well, if not better, than the whites. So they decided to desegregate the U.S. armed forces. At the beginning of the Korean War, about 100,000 blacks fought for the Korean army. However, by the end, 600,000 blacks had fought. Of those 600,000 blacks, 5,000 of them passed away due to the war. This was their first chance to prove themselves, and many of them did. Many blacks got various medals, such as the Medal of Honor, the U.S. Army's highest decoration, and the Medal of Distinguished Service. Private First Class William Thompson was one of the people that got the Medal of Honor. On August 6, 1950, he manned his machine gun. Despite many wounds, he kept, at, he kept shooting at the enemy, providing cover for his comrades to recover safely. He died two weeks after due to his injuries. Sergeant Cornelius Charleston also got the Medal of Honor in the Korean War. This was due to his acts. He single-handedly wiped out all the gun encampments in North Korea. He died the same day due to many injuries, in including two grenade wounds. T.L. Brown, another great black man, was the first black aviator in the U.S. Army. However, he crashed while trying to destroy enemy communications and providing cover for his comrades. Junior was Jesse's comrade during his raid. When Jesse crashed, he saw and he also crash landed trying to save Jesse. However, his efforts were not rewarded. Jesse died that day. However, Thomas J. Hino was awarded the Medal of Honor 